Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Shri Shio from Trading Explained, and today's video is going to be about examples of the RSI strategy that I shared in the previous video. So if you haven't watched that, then please go and watch that first because if you don't watch that video, you are not going to understand anything in this video. So have a look at that strategy first, understand RSI, and then come back to this video uh, to understand the examples of how it works in cash market. So today I am going to give you three examples of stocks. It's persistent. Alchem Labs and NTPC, yes. So let's head on to screen to understand the logic. So you guys can understand it and apply the same logic in live markets to other stocks as well, and maybe practically benefit out of this video. So without any further ado, let's begin. Okay, guys, here we are. We have our three stocks in front of us. It's NTPC, Alchem Labs, and Persistent Systems. And in all of these three stocks, I'm using only one indicator, and that is RSI. We do not need anything else because this strategy is pretty strong on its own. Okay, so let's see what happens in the first stock, that is NTPC Limited. So here we are with our open. Okay, so 9:15 open, and this strategy works only when the RSI is high or low. So if the RSI is between 70 or 30, we do not do anything. Okay, so if RSI goes above 70, that is when we start looking for buy signals. and if the rsi is coming below 30 that is when we start looking for sell signals okay so until it's between those levels we are not looking for any trade whatsoever so the market opens over here rsi keeps going up because the market is going up obviously and at this point if you see this big green candle takes the rsi above 70 so at this point it's 71.92 which means it's above 70 and now we can start looking for buy signals So how do we look for buy signals what exactly is the logic for looking buy signals should we randomly place our buy orders at this point or should we just randomly jump in no the logic is to find a resistance where market takes a resistance because that is going to be the profit booking from the DIIs or the FIIs or the person who is making this move and then when the market breaches that level as well that is when we go long so we need to find some sort of resistance okay ignore this line we just need to find some sort of resistance after the rsi is above 70 or below 30 when we, when it's below 30 we will find supports okay so above 70 let's now look for resistance do we find resistance how would we find resistance we would find resistance when we you know market takes a pause over there or market holds there for some time or some profit booking comes in red candles come in so we we need some sort of pause we need some sort of profit booking to call it a resistance let's see if we find anything Okay, guys. Okay, nothing so far, nothing so far, nothing so far. So at this point, until this point, if you see the markets are just going up. There's no profit booking. There's no red candle. There's no resistance whatsoever. So, are we going to trade this? No. So although our strategy is there, although the markets went up after RSI went above seventy, we could not trade anything, and that is fine, because you know not every time it's going to be that. Uh, you have rsi above 70 and the market is going to give you buy signals no you have to have some setup now you got to have some setup so this this is our setup we need to find resistance when it's above 70 when it, and we need to find support when it's below 30 so above 70 the market is there rsi is there but resistance is not there resistance comes in at this point and when will you know that this is a resistance you will probably come to know by this point like after seeing these three red candles or two red candles that is when you come to know okay this is a resistance just by looking at one red candle if you are you know saying this is a resistance that might work but that can be a risky entry so at this point if you see now we know that this is a resistance okay and we mark that resistance level so what is our setup our setup tells us that any time the market goes above this resistance and when the rsi is above 70 we need to buy so let's see if we get any buy later on in the day or any sell later on in the day in particular stock in this particular stock so because the rsi was above 70 and market was in momentum these levels are very important these levels are created by the fiis and diis the big persons and that is why market respects such levels and whenever such levels are breached the momentum is huge i am going to give you examples so let's just head on and see what happens so market faded down rsi faded down kept going sideways you know no momentum at all uh, kept doing its thing absolutely sideways consolidation and now if you see the market goes above this point breaches this resistance a good breach 
a good volume breach and now what you need to see when the market is breaking this resistance you need to know that the rsi is above 70 you need to have that rsi above 70 if let's say if the market is breaking above this resistance but the rsi is let's say 50 then you cannot buy why because that shows that this is not momentum when the momentum is not there you shouldn't be playing so over here if you see the rsi is 79 which is pretty strong which is 80 people are going to sell like most of the people are going to sell at this point because rsi is at 80 market might fall down blah blah no no god knows what are logics just apply simple logics what's going up is continue to you know it, it will continue to go up what's coming down it will continue to go down simple logic keep it simple so the resistance is breached rsi is above 70 and now what you do you buy here in this zone as soon as it's break, breaking this resistance and you see the rsi is above 70 you buy in this zone 125.9 126 you start buying in this zone what is your stop loss your stop loss will be the low of that candle technically technically it should be the support that you know previous support or anything of that sort but over here if, if you see the previous support is very far so we are not going to consider that because if the you know if the the breakout is really strong it will never come to low of that candle as well so that is why that becomes a safe stop loss so technically what's your stop loss if you see it's not more than 50 points like 0.50 it's not more than 0 0.50 rupees it's barely 50 paisa so what is your target you can take target of 1 rupee 1.5 rupee or so like 1 is to 2 or 1 is to 3 ka risk reward let's see what happens next okay so the resistance is breached rsi is above 70 you buy at this point you got your target what was your target it was 1 rupee 1 1.5 rupee so 126 126.5 was your last target right you got it in the very you know next two candles itself and even after that market kept going up so people who shorted at this point people who believed in rsi thinking that rsi is at 80 and now it's going to correct down just imagine what happens to those people like it's not how rsi works it's it's not how rsi works at least in intraday trading no it does not it just works the opposite see this kind of momentum see the momentum right insane momentum insane momentum so this is how you trade again let's go to alchem labs i hope this is clear right if you have any doubts you can just ping me in the comments i'll be there to answer it but i hope everything is clear uh, let's head on to alchem labs the strategy and the logic is going to be extremely same only the names of the stocks are going to change okay alchem labs so in alchem labs we are going to go one day back in the charts to get a context of how we are going to get a trade in today's chart so today is 30th december the day i am recording this video and this is 29th december this chart is 29th december and we are going to get a context from this chart so how we are going to get a context let's see so until this point there was nothing okay sideways consolidation and just focus on the right side of the chart now the chart is pretty strong the momentum is there rsi is above 70 and now you see a resistance is being formed okay so this is a resistance why because the market is not able to clear it out so this becomes a natural resistance rsi starts to drop all right rsi comes below 70 so now anytime the market breaches this level and the rsi is above 70 what you need to do you need to buy what you need to do you need to buy same logic right breaches the resistance that was being made when the rsi was above 70 and when it breaks this resistance the rsi needs to be above 70 as well okay so how this system you know takes care of everything i am going to show you that as well because if you see the market breaks this resistance now at this point if you need to focus on this you need to focus on this candle this green candle on the rightmost side of the chart it actually went up and broke above this high so technically your buy gets triggered right technically but no why can you tell me why it's rsi is not above 70 you got it right the system takes care of everything it it takes care of those false breakout false breakdowns if this was a true breakout the rsi would have been above 70 but the rsi is below 70 so you're not going to buy over here although this is a breakout although in live markets this candle might have looked like a big green candle but the rsi was not above 70 so you're going to avoid this level but what you're 
going to do is instead you are going to mark this level mark this range of this resistance and then we are going to take use of this level this the range to trade in today's chart so this was a good resistance that was being made by the markets right and now let's head on to today's chart also the see the timing this was 250 this is usually when the operators are active so these candles are not made by retailers at all all this action is being made by the fii dis and operators so this is an operator candle it barely took out these stop losses people who were short at this point or maybe wanted to go long it just made people trigger and then instantly came back and made everyone lose but we could not you know we did not buy because our rsi was below 70 so we got saved but now we have marked the level we now know the resistance and any time market breaches this resistance with rsi above 70 what we are going to do we are going to go long let's see what happens today so this was today's market it opened over here pretty flat at the morning session but then consolidation consolidation and eventually market starts to show momentum so now just because you saw two big green candles does not mean you are going to go long we have our criteria right we have our resistance set we have our priorities set anytime the market goes above this resistance with rsi above 70 we go long if that does not happen we just avoid the trade see what happens next okay so now the rsi is above 70 the first condition is being met that the rsi needs to be above 70 and now you need to see if the price is breaking above this resistance Yep, it broke above the resistance. Now what? You buy at this point. You buy in this zone of 3555, 3556. You go long. And what would be your stop loss? Yep, it would be the low of this candle. So your stop loss is what? Technically, maybe 10 points. Yeah. So what is your target? Your target must be at least 20 points or 30 points, right? At least 20 points. So let's just mark your 20 points above your entry zone. So 3556, five, let's say 556 five, is your entry. So 66, 76. So 76 is going to be your first target. Okay, so this is your first target. And 86 is going to be your final target. So these are your two targets, right? One is to two and one is to three. Kindly ignore the background noise, please. Okay. So one is to two and one is to three are your targets. And let's see how it gets achieved. So now your first target got achieved, got a bit of resistance, but then you got this candle. Just look at the size of this candle, man, it does not even end. Well, there was no news as far as I know. There, uh, I, I mean, I just looked out for the news at the very moment, but I could not find any. So this was some sort of huge buying that happened from the DIS or FIS. And now you can see why this buying came exactly after this level was breached or after the RSI was about 70, like people would be, you know, thinking to sell, like people are going to sell, looking at this red candle, okay, the RSI is at 93, oh my God, RSI is so overbought, RSI is 93, it's going to go down. No, you're thinking the wrong way. It does not work like that, okay? RSI about 70 means that the momentum is going to come more. It's going to go up on the higher side. See and how it works. Just boom blasted so high it was insane but anyways you do not need to care about that you had your targets you had your stop loss your trade is done okay so i hope you're getting this uh concept of rsi of of using it in live markets okay i'm trying to keep it as real as possible by just showing you the right side of the chart because it makes us real it makes us uh feel as if we are trading the live markets Making videos in live markets is very much difficult because I have to trade myself. I have to manage my own positions and then it becomes extremely difficult to make videos like this in live markets. So that is why I don't do it. So this is uh, Alchem Labs and then we head on to persistent systems. So again, persistent systems. Uh, okay. It opens over here. This is 29th. Okay. We don't need to care. This is 30th. So now if you see persistent systems opens gap up and then starts shooting just uh, gave some initial sell off instantly recovered rsi is already above 70 and starts shooting up right away see this movement there's absolutely nothing we can do about in this moment because our system is not there if you find any resistance and then it if, if the resistance is getting breached that is where our system gets activated but we do not have a resistance until this point 
okay this is our first resistance and from this point to this point we are going to just completely lose out on this move because our system is not there we just cannot buy randomly okay and that's okay that's okay so now we know at least the level we at least know the level above which if the market goes we need to buy all right and the rsi needs to be above 70 as well so two conditions let's see if they get satisfied okay so after making this high you get this candle the closing is pretty strong the uh, the volumes are there rsi is above 70 and now let's see what happens okay so what is your stop loss over here your stop loss is again the low of the same candle so which is like four points or so your target is going to be 12 points or so eight eight and 12 points so 437 plus 12 is 4749 or something so your you, you basically your targets are getting achieved in the same candle like just see the amount of momentum that is there and this is one is to three if you have some ability or understanding about markets of how to trail i'm not going to show that in this video because it becomes way lengthier than i uh, wanted to but i will make videos on uh, you know trailing stop losses and stuff but if you know how to trail stop losses then you can take insane advantage of movements like this like okay like your your trailing stop loss actually gets hit at this point or somewhere over here or you know at this point or this point so if you are able to trail like that it becomes very much you know in it becomes insane you you the kind of money you can make from this system is just insane so these are the three stocks that i wanted to tell you yeah it fails also sometimes sometimes it fails also no system is foolproof but this system is pretty strong like it can give you money if you execute it the right way so ntpc alchem labs and persistent systems three trades uh, I hope you understood and if you have any doubt you can just comment down I will answer those queries and I will see you in the next one until then you guys take care bye bye peace out